Windows 11 is rolling out, and that means that if you like to stay even reasonably close to the cutting edge of operating system releases, it's time for you to upgrade. Now, you get a bunch of cool features, but there are also a few things you'll want to do right after you finish installing to make sure you get the most out of this latest version of Windows. Even if Windows Update gave you the all clear to install Windows 11, that doesn't necessarily mean that everything will work perfectly right out of the box. Of course, it doesn't mean things won't work perfectly out of the box either. If you're having hardware issues, check with the manufacturer for updated drivers. And sometimes running Windows Update is all you need to do. Next, make sure that all of your apps are still installed and that they're working properly. If they don't, visit the app's website to see if an update is available. It's possible you might have to wait for the developers to update their software to work with Windows 11. Now, you'll want to make sure you do this within the first 10 days of installing Windows 11 to make sure that if something really important doesn't work, you can easily roll back to Windows 10. After updating to Windows 11, you'll probably notice some extra apps and icons in the start menu and on your taskbar. Also, some of these are impossible to remove just by right clicking on them. To clear out your taskbar, go to settings and personalization, then taskbar. Here you can toggle off various options. For start menu items, right click an app and choose unpin from start. You can also search for apps and choose pin to start from the search feature if you want to make sure they're on the start menu. You may also want to get rid of the recommended section in the start menu, though this won't give you any extra space for other apps. To remove recommended apps and documents from the start menu, open settings, personalization, then start and toggle off the options you don't want. This is a simple one. Browse through the settings and make sure something hasn't changed in a way that you don't want it. Specifically, you'll want to check your privacy settings to verify that everything transferred over from Windows 10 properly. Now, everything should be the same, but Microsoft may have made some changes to default settings and you'll want to be sure you check those. The Xbox app built into Windows is awesome if you're a gamer, but if you don't do much gaming on your PC, you may not want it running all the time. Open the Xbox app and go to Settings, then General. Then uncheck Automatically Launch App at Startup. You can still run the Xbox app if you want to, it just doesn't run by default now. Yes, I know you just updated to Windows 11, how could there be more updates? But there could be security updates and those are important. Go to Settings, Windows Update, then click Check for Updates. There you go, Windows 11 should now be set up for you to start tweaking it so it's exactly how you like it. If you don't love Windows 11, you can roll back to Windows 10. For instructions on how to do that, check out maketecheasier.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.